Hello, this is Pablo Carrasco from fpnips.com. Uh, today I would like to show you one nip unit that I have I have made uh, to suit a deep pen nip. Which is this. What I have done is I have taken a Jowo size 6 nip nip unit like this. Alright. This is the, the, the original, the normal uh, size 6 uh, nib unit from Jowo. And I have removed the nib and feeder. So I have the housing uh, deep end nib that I'm going to show you later. And a brand new Ebonite feeder. All right, hard rubber or ebonite feeder. So with this combination, I discard this. I don't use the Jowo feeder. I use only the housing. So I modify both the nib and the feeder to suit the to fit into the housing. All right, the Jowo housing. So if you have any pen any pen brand that uh, fits the 6 Jowo housing, the 6 Jowo nibs, you, you will be able to use this nib unit. So I modified this uh, Ebonite feeder to have a much bigger ink flow. I modified the nib unit, wait, uh, sorry, the nib and dip pen. This is a browse rose nib it is the number uh, uh, 76 in the browse catalog all right so i modify this i modify the uh, the feeder to increase the ink flow and i use the original uh, jobo housing so this nib unit you will be able to use in any pen any fountain pen any cartridge converter pen that uh, fit your wall number six. All right, and this is the result. The browse rose dip and nib, the ebonite feeder into the Jowo housing, and this is uh, a pen that I use to make tests. All right, and now I'm going to show you how it writes. Okay, uh, let me see. So, and uh, the the brand is Browse uh, Browse. Oh, sorry, Browse, and. Uh, it's very very flexible as you may know uh, this is this um, uh, both flexible and very very soft so uh, you don't have to use a lot of pressure to to make it flex it's extremely soft it's it's um, between the um, flex nibs for uh, deep pens it is uh, probably the softer one and uh, the uh, yet yeah, the, the and and it's not easy to use. Uh, other nibs are much more easy to use, but this this one is quite uh, quite difficult to use. I, I'm not a professional calligrapher, and uh, it's 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 quite hard to use this nib, but. Uh, uh, if you are uh, entering in calligraphy, uh, it, it's not the most easy to use, but uh, it's a, a quite good nib. Uh, so, as you may see, it performs quite good. Uh, 
it it has a um a ink flow that it's um, very permanent very very I, I don't know how to, to explain but it's 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 not uh, I, later i'm going to show you uh, some of the things that it's very interesting in this nib unit okay I wrote in there mm. as you may know when when you do very very wide wide lines uh, you have to slow down your your writing speed all right This is probably the widest that this nib can go, all right? So and this is the, with no pressure, to this line, all right? I, I wouldn't go wider than this because uh, uh, or, or you can bend the nib. So in my opinion, this is the maximum. And anything between these lines, the finer one, and then and this the thicker it's 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 the best so as you may see it it's quite continuous line uh, the quantity of ink it's very uh, very good in my opinion because i'm going to show you if i use this nib in a the pen holder this oblique pen holder the amount of ink that this will leave in in the paper it, it's it's amazing well I, i'm using uh the I mean, Ocre ink, all right. This this one. I do mean ochre. It's not a calligraphy ink. It's a fountain pen ink. Uh, all right. Yeah, this is a fountain pen. You you have to use uh, fountain pen ink with this nib unit. So if I use this ink or any other ink in a oblique. oblique pen holder and the same nib the brows rose nib let me move this a little bit the amount of ink that this will leave in the paper is it's amazing it's a lot so although the ink color is ochre you see this is um, almost black because it's a huge amount of ink living in the paper. So in my opinion, this nib unit uh, will make a, a, a perfect, almost perfect or perfect for me, uh, will leave in the paper uh, a very good uh, um, amount of ink that l leave us see the color of the ink at it is not as much as a mm, uh, 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 deepen nib as you see here it's i don't know if you will see in the in the video but this is almost black and you see the ink color if i use this nib unit so if you are using calligraphy uh, with this kind of, uh, if you are making calligraphy with this kind of um, ink with a variety of colors, uh, you will see that 
uh, you can uh, achieve much better colors with this Mm, nib unit that than with the pen holder. All right. And of course, it it will it will uh, dry much faster. All right. Here it is. But mm, this is almost dry, and this will not uh, dry in <laughs> in several minutes or even an hour. This is all dry now. Okay. But with a deep pen. Nib, uh, it will not dry in many many minutes. So, um, uh, what else? Uh, nothing else, I think. I've told you any other thing, anything about this nib unit, okay? Um, but if you have any question, I, I will answer in, um, in the comments, or you can contact us at fpnips.com, and it will be a pleasure to to answer you. Okay? Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.